So with the UK City of Culture programme, historically it's been about big cities and this year for the first time they changed it to allow places to apply. So the fact that County Durham has got through to the last eight is really remarkable and is the example that we're showing this time um, with Lumiere where the programme is concentrated in the city but has its tentacles right out across the county. And we've always worked in the county. We work with schools, with organisations, we're doing like 35 workshops across the county. We work for months in advance of the programme. So the addition of the installations themselves is just like the icing on the cake. I think we've been here since 2009, Artichoke, making Lumiere happen. And each year it's grown. Each year it has more economic impact. I think it's almost a sort of example to city of cultures around the world of how to work with multiple stakeholders across big distances to create something that's nationally and internationally significant, but absolutely grounded in a place and in a local community. The thing that's most impressive to me about Durham, and we work all over the country and internationally, Nationally, is the absolute commitment of the people that we're welcomed every time that we're very often asking people to do things that are slightly outside the normal just to make it work and we've almost never received any resistance people are very willing to embrace a new idea I mean for instance here the owner Anne when I came here one sunny morning in June I think it was and said do you know, if we brought Lumia here, would that would that be okay? And she said, oh, we'd love it. We go every year, we'd love it on our doorstep. And then we'd start talking about power and there's a caravan site here and we have to negotiate access and all of that stuff. And all we've ever had is how can we help? And that, I think, is really characteristic of County Durham.